part of this video. It is my, how many years? I forgot that fast. Um, six years surgery from having gastric bypass. Um, I actually had it June 4th, so I'm a little over, I'm a month over. Um, I'm a month over six years of having gastric bypass. I had it June 4th, 2012 in Baltimore, Maryland at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Um, I've had lots of complications. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll see I have posted everything. I've had uh, two small bowel obstructions. Uh, I had a gallbladder attack. Constantly with low iron, even with taking medication. So yeah, now I'm going to show you a body shot. I'm actually going to be about the house. My son is in the shower, so I figured I'm going to do this since I just got off the shower and my phone is going off. So I said I would do this um, before I finish putting all my clothes on. So this shirt right here is a size medium. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so it's a medium. It's a, um, And this is from Banana Republic. So their clothes on me run small. Um... I am wearing a compression garment because I don't like the way that shirt looks with what I'm wearing. And so, this is what I look like. This is my stomach. My arms. I do have the bat wings. Um, and my stomach. My thighs are big, but they're not that bad. Um, the only problem area that, to me that I don't like is the way my stomach is. And my stomach actually used to be flat, but um, after I had, well, no, it wasn't completely flat, but after I had my twins, after I had gastric bypass, I got pregnant twice. The first time with Aaron and then with Andrew and Jordan. So this skirt right here is a size six. I can fit it. Like I can, I mean, it's a little snug. Um, I've been as low as a size two. But that was too small. I looked like I was really sick. And so, I just pulled this down. Well, no, let me show you how it looks without the, uh, without this on. See how that, like, hangs over? I mean, I'll still get a little hang, but, like, this is too much. That's because my skirt is too tight, and I know that, but I want to wear it, so yeah. So, I'm going to put my shirt on over it. So, you can see how I look with clothes on. So, this is how my body would look if I did not have on the, uh, with this thing on, but nothing like to hold it in. And I rarely wear this. Um, just because I, I don't know, I just don't wear it. I mean, I, it bothers me some, but not, like, overly dramatic, like, oh my gosh, I look so disgusting. No, not even that. I just wear this to smooth it out a little bit. It ain't smoothing. Whew. It's just rearranging it. I can't get it down off my drawers. So, pull it all the way down, and now uh, that's how it looks with this uh, garment that I have on. See? Now that's how it looks. It just distributed everywhere else. So, this is how I look. Um... Let's talk about my weight. I guess I can sit on my little stool now. <sighs> Next step. So my um my highest weight I was 272 pounds. And that was before I started. That was like two weeks before the pre-op diet um started. And then I went down to 268 the day of surgery. Yeah, not that many lost pounds. Not many. Pounds were lost in that two-week period because 
the diet that I was on or the restriction I was on, I had to have a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and then protein for dinner. And that's how that went. And my lowest weight was like 132-ish, but I was sick. That's when I had um, my first small bowel obstruction and I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat for about two to three weeks. My face, all this was all sunken in and I just looked, I just looked sick. But once I um, was able to eat again and I started picking my weight back up, right now I am, I think I'm like 154-ish, somewhere around there. I haven't weighed myself <sighs> I'm like a month. No, I'll take that back. Yeah, it's been at least a month. Yeah, I really don't know how much I weigh, like, a real weight until I go back to um, my PCP and find out how much I weigh. Um, my bottoms range from a size 6 to an 8, depending on the material, you know, who is made by and all that stuff. My tops, I usually get in a small, unless, well, you know, it all depends on what store you get it from. So, Banana Republic clothes fit small on me, and American Eagle Outfitters clothes fit small to me on my body frame i should say and because my arms are still big I, that's another reason why i have to get a bigger size in clothing so yeah that's it am i happy about my decision yeah um because i don't think i i mean i probably could have if i was more disciplined i'm more disciplined now than i was six years ago i mean of course i was younger then as well um, oh, exercise. Back then, I exercised like 30 times a week. <laughs> like not even, I went, so we, we had just moved to Philly right after I had surgery. So, um, the summertime, we would be at the park like all day long. My husband would go to work. We would go back to the park. Um, and then once the kids started school, I would take them to school because I had to drop them off. I would drop them off at school and go straight to the gym. My husband worked a uh, second shift, so he was still asleep. And we didn't have any babies in between that time. No, we had, we had Ashley. No, I take that back. We had Ashley. But Ashley was five. And so either she would come with me to the YMCA or she would stay home with Andre if she was still asleep when I left out. Because the YMCA had... Um, like a daycare where they would go for two hours. And so I would work out then, come home, do whatever I had to do. Um, by that time, it was time for me to take Andre to work because he had to be to work at 3 or 3.30, something like that. And uh, I would, we would pick the kids up together. I would drop them off at work, and then I would go to the park or back to the gym.